The Greek word return is nostos. Algos means suffering, so nostalgia is the suffering caused by an unappeased yearning to return. Same things make us laugh, make us cry. <coughs> so, what is it about these bro wake up it's 2000 and you know whatever videos that strike a chord with this yearning to go back back to a perceived golden age look no further than the comments section in these videos to get a collective consensus agreement on how everyone feels and told beautifully by one of our time's uh, greatest philosophers. The quote reads, We didn't realize we were making memories, we just knew we were having fun. Winnie the Pooh. And therein lies the issue with memories. You never realize you're making them until you also realize something's missing. You know, it's funny how uh, day by day nothing changes, but when you look back, everything seems different. The world is nothing but change. Our life is only perception. So these bro wake up videos, they're not limited to just video games, but that medium seems to be the one that's the most potent. Uh, potent not just in, in like hearing music or, or watching a video or taking in a narrative, but it encapsulates all of those elements all at once, all while you're like in direct control. And with that heightened sense of intent, memories are formed in many more ways than one. And because these videos look back at a very specific point in time, it naturally unlocks specific memories. And the thing is, the way that people perceive memories has changed since the internet inception. It's no longer looking back at a, at a picture or a familiar sight or smell, but a fully digitized archived memory. Nostalgia captured at 60 frames per second. You know, it's no longer a glimpse of nostalgia, but a process you step through while watching these videos. And despite these places occupying 3D space, each turn, each corridor or location, it reveals uh, new forgotten memories continuously to recollect comfort and familiarity. It's like being homesick but from unreal worlds or from places that you've never actually known in reality, but they suggest very real memories in actuality. It really does feel like the closest thing we have to a time machine. You can recall the feelings rooted in the deepest parts of your childhood. In these videos, they transport you uh, almost believably so, to a moment remembered so vividly you could practically trick yourself into feeling as though waking up and seeing that the last decade was a dream. Some people, they want to be tricked. Take this comment for example. Imagine if clicking this video was actually like a secret gateway out of the matrix and the moment you finish reading this comment, you realize that it is in fact 2004 and everything you had perceived up until now had just been a simulation. Ramen! Are you sleeping, you fat no, fuck? No Come on! What is it about these dimly lit memories being rekindled that's so somber? Like, where does the feeling come from that if these memories are somehow forgotten, then they're lost in time forever? Uh, I think it's a kind of paradox that can only be realized in hindsight, like not realizing that today is tomorrow's nostalgia. Your perceived golden age is relative, relative to you. So take this comment for example, me now realizing as an adult that my parents had to stress over the 2008 financial crisis while I was playing Modern Warfare 2 all day carefree. It's like being blissfully ignorant, you know, it, it was a carefree time by virtue of not knowing burden. Global pandemic, World War 3, cancel culture, damn, sounds like you had a really bad dream. Come on, let's go play a, a wholesome game of Modern Warfare 2. Yo, shut the fuck up, you saw a game. <laughs> You know, the truth is, certainly, people in like 2042 will be making nostalgic videos like, bro, wake up, it's 2023 in the future. Uh, Any time can be a good old time if you allow it to be. I think one of the most important things in life is to create as many beautiful memories as possible so that when we look back on our lives, it's met with uh, bliss and not with spite. And this might seem intrinsically easier while you're young since everything seems new and meaningful, but that's not to say you'll never feel the same way again. The interesting thing though about nostalgia is that it can compel something like nostalgia in reverse, a longing for yet another delightful experience to cherish later down the line. It has the power to move you forward towards those blissful memories to create them anew. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake.